How to draw blueberries with markers. Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. Today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute little batch of blueberries step by step. This is an easy drawing lesson for kids, beginners, and kids of all ages. Hi everyone! Welcome to Rain Francis Art for Kids. My name is Rain. In this series, Alphabet Soup, we choose a letter from the alphabet and we draw food that starts with that letter. So let's draw! This is what you'll need for today's drawing. You're going to need a piece of paper. I have my dollar store drawing pad here. It's 11 inches by 8 and a half. You're going to need a pencil and an eraser. And I always bring out my little brush to dust off my page. Today we're using markers. I've got kind of a medium blue, I have a dark blue, I have a green, and I have a black. And I also have my fine tipped black marker for outlining. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to draw my blueberries with my pencil, and then I'm gonna outline and then erase and then color in. So why don't we begin? We're going to draw three blueberries today. So what I'm gonna do is start with some circles. And I'm drawing kind of lightly right now, okay? And then I'm gonna draw another circle next to it. This is another, ooh, that's a little too far over there. <laughs> a little too far, okay. And if they touch, that's okay. If they intersect, that's okay. Let me fix that up a bit. I am not good at drawing circles. I think anyone who's watched this before, I've said that before, I'm not good at drawing circles. Now, mine has already been erased, but what you can do is erase the line in between there so it looks like this guy is in front of this guy, okay? And then I'm gonna draw a circle kind of on top here. And I'm going to erase everything that's in these two. So this line here and this line here, and I'm going to fix that up a bit. I know I didn't say that very well, but watch what I'm doing. Because this fella is going to be behind these two. So I want to erase the lines in the two blueberries that are in front of him or her. We'll see if we decide to make that a he or she. <laughs> okay. So do you see what I mean? I just made sure that this one looked like it was behind. Actually, it looks a little big, doesn't it? That's okay. Blueberries come in all sizes, right? So if you look at a blueberry on the top, they usually have what looks like a star. That's where they get picked off the tree. So on the top here, I'm gonna draw a little star shape. And on this one too. But on this one, I'm going to just draw three little bits on the top, just like that. And I'm going to draw a few leaves coming out the sides. Okay. Now let's put some eyes in, draw some oval eyes. And this one's going to be looking to the side. He's looking at her. So we're going to draw some oval eyes here. And we'll do the side pupils as well. So it looks like she's looking at him. And then we'll draw one up here. And we'll just draw regular oval pupils for that one and we'll put in all the details later okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to outline i've got my black fine liner and i'm going to outline everything that i drew and i always say this i'm not too concerned about following my pencil marks because i'm going to be erasing them So let's just outline everything that we drew in here. OK, 
Okay, it looks like they have wings. <laughs> I didn't intend that. And some pupils, there we go. Let me draw the, the little leaves. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to erase my pencil lines, but I want to make sure that my marker is dry. So a good way to do that is take a paper towel. Don't move it around, just push it down. And if you see you have marker on your paper towel, it's still wet, so you have to wait a little bit. Mine is dry, so I'm going to take my eraser and just erase all of my pencil marks. I'm not going to erase too hard because it is possible to erase marker. It's not something that seems obvious, but if you press if you press your eraser down too hard, you could smudge your marker and it fades it and it doesn't look very nice. So let's just go easy on the eraser and if you have to go over it a second time, go ahead and do that. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going over it a second time. There we go. So it's all outlined. I can start adding some color. Now, I'm going to start with my dark blue and those three stars and what looks like a little crown there. I'm going to color that in with the dark blue. And I'm just being careful to stay in my lines. I don't want to get the dark blue outside of the stars or the crowns or you know what I mean, that area. And my marker is very well used, so it's not very sharp at the end. You see, it's kind of stubby, so it's hard to get into the little points there. I'm going to try my best. There we go. So I've got all the dark blue in. I'm going to take that medium blue color that I have here. Ooh, my stomach just growled. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> and I'm going to color in my blueberries with this really nice, this is a nice sort of a royal blue color. It's very, very nice. And I'm going to be careful not to get any into the eyes or into the leaves, but the rest of the blueberries are this blue color. Okay. Do you like blueberries? I like blueberries in blueberry muffins. Okay, there's a car going by right now and I'm hoping that my dogs don't all start barking. <laughs> I think we're safe. All right. I like blueberry muffins, like I said. I had a dog that I used to talk about all the time, my hound dog, Jack. He's not with us anymore. He was very old. And um, he used to eat blueberries off the bushes. I live in an area where down the road there is a, a big, big blueberry field. And... Um, I would walk my dogs there and along the trail, my hound dog Jack would just go hump, 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 <laughs> just picking off blueberries as he would walk. It was really, really cute. I used to call him Blueberry Jack. <laughs> I miss that little fella. But I have a lot of dogs now. This is a dog house. <laughs> So the blueberry fields where there's a trail where I walk the dogs and the owners 
It's a commercial field. That means it's a business. And uh, they grow a lot of blueberries that they sell at the supermarket. But they're very nice and they let people walk on the trail. As long as people don't, you know, go into the fields and steal the blueberries, everything's okay. They don't mind if you, we take the blueberries from right next to the trail because their machines can't get to that area. So they tell the local people who live here that it's okay to do that. So that's why it was okay for my dog to go out. <laughs> chomping on blueberries as he's walking. But on my property too, I have some blueberry bushes. And I pick blueberries every year too. But I don't eat them that much, so I don't really pick that many of them. Mostly the, the birds like to eat them. I'm just being careful around the eyes here. It may look funny the way I'm doing this, but that's how I color in. Jeez, <laughs> oh. my little puppy. I've said this before, he just flops down and he makes so much noise. <laughs> just like, boom. <laughs> this actually looks like flying, flying blueberries because they look like wings. But I think once we put the green in, we're going to see that it does look like a leaf. Hopefully. <laughs> All right. How are you guys doing? You doing okay? Now I'm being really careful here because I don't want to make the mistake of coloring in, in in that star area that I carefully made dark blue. all done. Now I'm going to take my green color and I'm going to color in the leaves just to make sure that I don't smudge anything or I get marker on my hand. I'm going to put a paper towel there. Sharpies dry pretty quickly but I just want to make sure I don't smudge everything. Just adding some green onto this leaf here and as I usually do I start by outlining the area that I want green and then I'll fill it in after. Hey sweetie, why don't you go lie down? There we go. Dog number two flopping down. <laughs> to see the blueberry fields when all the blueberries are ripe it looks like it's blue <laughs> it's just 
a sea of blue color. It's beautiful. And in the fall, the bushes turn kind of a, a red color. So it's always really nice to see when I'm walking my dogs there. It's always so beautiful to see all the colors of the blueberry bushes. Okay, so now I'm going to take my black Sharpie and I'm going to just color in those pupils black. on all three of my blueberries here. And we have to decide if these are girls or boys because the girls usually get eyelashes. So we'll have to see. Let's fill in those pupils though first and then we'll decide. I think what we'll do is we'll make these two boys and that one a, a mama. <laughs> So we're going to give the mama some eyelashes. It's hard to see on the blue, isn't it? And we'll just give her a little smile down here. Okay? And the boys, they'll get eyebrows and a smile. Eyebrows and a smile. And why don't we give them some cheeks? Just the boys. That's You put a semicircle at the edge of the mouth, and that makes it look like they have cheeks. And there we go. Those are our blueberries. Now I'm going to take my pen or my ink marker here and I'm going to sign my work. I want you to be very proud of the beautiful work of art that you just created, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, my friends, and we'll see you next time on Alphabet Soup. Thanks for watching. Bye.